Hello everyone, welcome back. I don't know how you all are doing today, but over here we're just kind of having a hangout day. <laughs> we all just got done eating. So that's still there if you see it in the background. I am now making my um, evening coffee, <laughs> especially since I got stuff to do today. Uh, it's kind of just been a hangout day. We started our fall break here with our school stuff. So we've just been watching movies and hanging out. We've got some like a party to go to this weekend. You know, all the family stuff, the good things. So that's always good. I think there's also a parade or something we were looking into. So we'll see if we end up going to that or not. Got church this weekend. And then my kids' uh, extracurriculars start back up next week. So taking advantage of hanging out today with everybody. Um, but yeah, so also today as a collaboration with the few other YouTube mamas on here, a uh, few months ago, I did a collaboration with um, Jess at a mess called Jess. And she organized this, which I thought was awesome. So I'm gonna link that playlist in my description. Um, all of everybody is, is uh, sharing, you know, like a fall recipe which I love the fall recipes. Me and my kids are, you know, getting ready to do a bunch just for like a unit study and, you know, some homeschooling things. Oops, that's the bench or the stool. <laughs> so, but, so we're gearing up for all that stuff. So I'm so excited for some new recipes. I'll see my son coming out to help me and pick it up for me. Thank you, buddy. Um, you are cool. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm excited to watch all those videos and I encourage you to do the same once you're done here, seeing if you can find some new stuff to make or even some new, you know, YouTube channels to watch. <laughs> I always like finding new channels. Um, but yeah, so today I'm gonna be doing that. I can't remember, I have a bunch of, I don't know if they're pecans or Walmarts, pecans. My husband makes fun of me. I think he calls them pecans. <laughs> But I have like four bags of those in my freezer. They've been in there since we went to visit my husband's aunt in Texas last year. So I want to use them. Um, uh, when was it? The day I went to my specialist and I showed a video of me eating a salad that we got to eat afterwards. Um, the salad I ate, it, it was either pecans or walnuts on top. And they were, um, you know, like sugared and stuff. And... Um, it just added something to the salad and I was like, you know, I used to make these when I had my baking business for, um, you know, like I would package them up in like this clear cellophane stuff and I put a fall bow on it and I would sell them like that. So, um, for me to use all these nuts up, I'm like, this is definitely something good because, you know, we can eat them, I can snack on them. Um, I'm going to take some over to my mother-in-law and, uh, you know, just something good to make, something easy. I think it's like four or five ingredients or something like that. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing today. Um, I've been wanting to set back up my arrow garden. I had it set up, God, it's probably been like six months now since I took it down. So I wanna set that back up. I think I'm gonna put it over here in the corner by my coffee maker. Last year I had it on the, um, sorry, you can see the glare of my glasses. But last year I had it on the counter and the light on it has to stay on all the time, pretty much. So in the nighttime, we could always see the light from our room and it would bug my husband. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna try to set up where like it's in a better space, you know. Um, so I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna be trying to grow anything I can possibly grow right now. I wanna be growing. Um, so, you know, did all my seeds out there, all of the like spices and stuff that I, spices? Yeah, spices, right? Herbs, herbs. <laughs> <laughs> that I planted are all starting to sprout up, so that's nice. Picked my eggplant, picked those onions you saw, some tomatoes, uh, some of my bell peppers getting ready to be picked. Not a lot, but some. It's The plant is growing a lot, but only some of them are ready right now. So that's good. So I just want to be doing all the things. Also, um, I still have one other video that I never released, but if you remember back, God, when was it? March or April time? when I got like that 70 pounds of vegetables for like $15. They haven't come back to my area since then. And I just found out they're gonna be coming back in a few weeks. So I'm excited for that. So I think the unreleased video I have of that time, I'm gonna release it next week um, just to give you some ideas. But so in the meantime, I'm gonna be looking up 
ways that I can preserve the food also. Um, I know a lot of stuff I can either chop and directly freeze or blanch and freeze, which the video that I re release next week will show me doing some of that. I also made some tomato soup from scratch. I froze some of that. In, in fact, I still have one batch left in my freezer that we're gonna be using up soon. I usually just fr freeze it in batches, pull it out. It's a good lunch for my kids to make with grilled cheese sandwiches. Um, so yeah, so in the meantime, I'm gonna be looking up ways that I can preserve the next batch and I'll, if you guys are interested, I'll take you along the way with me. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that um, because of like all of the, not just the price increases, because we did this last year and then got our meat at the beginning of this year. We had did, um, I think it was like a fourth of a cow. Anyways, so now with like the prices just going even more crazy, um, I was looking into local butchers and I found one that I'm going to go put an order in with. What I like is you can just do like one or two things you can do like a box order you can do any size of the cow order anything that you want so i was looking at their individual prices and in my area their ground beef like their stew meat the things that i use a lot were actually cheaper you know some buy a little some buy a lot and it's all um theirs are grass what is it called grass fed grain finished um, so I'm like, well, it's healthier than the grocery store <laughs> and cheaper. So you, that's a win for me. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be looking into that. I'll take you guys along with me, not today, but within the next coming weeks. Um, I also found out, oh, I think I got a delivery here. One second here. Let's go see. So some boxes came in. I think this is the last of what I was waiting for. Um, my kids right now, let me see if I can show you. So I get these unit studies for them like during the holidays. And I got this one. It's like kitchen skills and recipes. And it has, um, you know, different recipes. It has some cutting skills in here. And at the end of all these recipes, they get to like talk about them and rate them and, you know, just things like that. The bread one, my kids are used to doing the bread, but there's like butter in here, so many things. So I was ordering them kind of like their own things that they can be doing. They've been cooking along with me, but I really want them to get into it more since they like doing it. Also, it's a good life skill. So like they needed a meat thermometer. I had them go through, pick out some recipes and some other books that we have. And I got the things that we needed for those. We needed some more like, um, what are these called? Baking cups, measuring cups. And uh, we needed the meat thermometer. I also got them these from, they're the American Girl Collection. Cupcakes and just some easier recipes for them to learn also and have fun with. Cookies, this one was my favorite that I'm excited to be doing with them. Holiday baking. So I'm excited to do that with them. They needed, these are like kid-friendly knives for them to learn like chopping and cutting, but without me having to worry about them hurting themselves. So these I was really excited to find. And like a cutting board came with it. Then my cutting board is all nasty. So we got a pack of these other cutting boards for them to be using also. And then we needed some new baking sheets, which is just in time for the holidays. So my kids are definitely going to love learning and doing all the things with these. So I think lastly, I was just waiting on some like ramekins that they needed. But I'm pretty excited about starting this stuff up with them. Let me put this back in the box real quick. Yes, here are the little ramekins. And these are going to be good. Gosh, I can't get them out of here for um, like when the kids need to practice their measuring, which is good for like math skills and you know, things like that. So they can put them individually into the ramekins and then, you know, from there pour it into their dish. So I'm pretty excited. These are glass, <laughs> which I think is super pretty. And they got them in here really tight. So I'm gonna have to try to get these out of here. Okay, so I got distracted, but um, I found like this local farm that we've been to before. You can buy like veggie boxes, like once or twice a week. Um, however often you want in all different sizes. 
So I wanted to look into them too, just to try like different kinds of produce and it's organic. And at this point, I mean like the grocery store is getting so much that I can't imagine that these would be much of a difference at this point. <laughs> like before, you know, organic, things like that were always so much more. And now the prices I'm finding, like it's not much of a difference. At the grocery store for regular red cabbage the other day, I think I paid almost $4 for one head. It wasn't organic or anything special, just some red cabbage. <laughs> so, and oh my gosh, eggs right now is getting crazy. I used to get the 60 pack. Um, I remember when they were like $9 and they were $11 and then they went to 14. Now they're $21 for 60. I did find a good deal at Sam's though, and I have to do the Sam's haul. Um, I've been getting, you know, just like my toilet paper and some water from there, but I haven't done a haul from Sam's in a while. And I've been like putting some aside, things like that to get ready for to do another big haul. So that's what I want to do. So I want to be, you know, a few times out of the year, I try to stock up more than I normally do. So that is my plan for the next coming weeks. And I'm excited because... And you know what? If I'm going to be getting all of those 70 pounds of vegetables, I may not even need to do the other vegetables. Anyways, I'll see. <laughs> I'll see how that works. But, you know, and even if I'm not using them, if I can freeze them or things like that, for a while now, I have been wanting to learn how to can. Even after the last um, big batch of vegetables that we did, my mother-in-law had come over and made a whole bunch of like salsa and stuff. And I was telling her, gosh, I wish that we knew how to can so that we can just save all that stuff. So I ended up putting it a bunch of it in like different size freezer bags. And then I just pull it out whenever I need it. I pulled the last batch out, I think about two weeks ago. Um, and I know some of you have been saying you're learning how to can and I think that's awesome. One of my favorite channels to watch is Acre Homestead. Um, and she does all the things on there. Um, so I think I'm going to order a canning book, read up on it. I think I'm just so intimidated by it because I don't know anybody else in person that knows how to do that. Um, but I really want to learn, <laughs> you know, even if it's for like fruit or salsas or, you know, just a new hobby to do. Um, so I'm excited about that. I really, I'm intimidated, I will say, but I really want to learn that. So I think I'm going to start off by ordering a book. I've kind of already been reading different things, watching different things. And um, I'm more of a like a visual person. So like once I see somebody doing it, that's how I learn. So the fact that I can't really see anybody in person doing that um, scares me a bit. <laughs> but we're going to see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get my coffee so that I can start one of these recipes and some things. Um, Oh, and the project I was telling you about that I'm going to be looking into, let me show you what that is. And it all has to do with all of this too, because like right now, okay, but in here, I want to try to do, even if it's not floor to ceiling, but this wall comes out pretty good right here. So it won't come out all the way, but I want to do like a huge, I don't know, maybe open style pantry to use all this space. Cause just right now, like my freezer, yes, is here, it's staying but there's just a bunch of other stuff everywhere. Like, and I'm starting to use this for extra pantry space. Um, so that's what I wanna do. I wanna turn this part into like a big usable pantry so that I can stop having food in all different areas. And then this area here, instead of having it as a pantry, I wanna put, you know, like my bread machine, my dehydrator, my crock pots, like all of the bigger appliances that I use, I wanna start putting in there and, you know, anything else like that. So uh, for us, that would be like a better use of the space and wouldn't be so cluttered all the time. I'm trying to do what I can to get rid of the clutter spots. Um, so I think that that will be like a better idea. I'm getting my coffee because I keep talking and forgetting about it. And then I got to climb up there and get down that arrow garden. But I think first I'm going to do the recipe Sorry, all up in my face. <laughs> I don't have a selfie stick, so <laughs> sorry about that. But um, so I think I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get my creamer for my coffee, and I think next I'm gonna get that recipe started so we can do something. <laughs> Got my coffee. And real quick, coming back to it, if you can, let me know 
what kind of canner you use. I was looking into the electric pressure canner from Presto because I feel like it's more friendly. Like it has a timer, does all the things, tells you what step to do, all the things. But from my understanding, it's only for, is it either low acid or high acid foods? It's one or the other. So from my understanding, it's for one or the other, but it can't do other types of foods. I don't know. So let me know what you use or what you recommend, or if you do that at all, <laughs> let me know. Your ramekins came in. And they're glass. These are cool. I like how they say, have a nice day. I don't know what doing is though. <laughs> but, so yeah, these came in. I'm pretty excited about them. I got them all like in the matching colors so that it matches the cutting boards and all that stuff. Those are pretty cool. Okay, so. I have these three bags. Gosh, are these pecans or walnuts? I'm gonna look up a thing real quick, hold on. So what's this little mine look like? And this is what pecans look like. I think they're pecans. So, good thing, because that's a recipe I got. And I'm gonna be using this recipe here. So it needs four cups. So we're going to see how many times I can double or triple the recipe because I'm going to use all of these up. I've been trying to use like other freezer stuff that I had or, you know, things like this. That way I can get my freezer sort of uh, more organized to get ready for some other things. Okay, so I'm going to have to do the peca pecans, pecans, whatever. I'm going to have to do them first because I don't know how much I have to see how many times I can double the recipe. So... We're going to start with that. So each recipe calls for four cups. Let me see. So one, two, three, four. So let's see if we can do. have a bigger bowl let me see y'all I have I think a bigger bowl <laughs> so we're gonna try this let's see okay so we're gonna do four more so it'll be three times a recipe one two Four, eight, twelve. So that's three times the recipe. And this one, I'll just, I guess, save. Okay. So now I need three egg whites. That's cool, buddy. You gonna sit in it now? Yeah. Then I move it. I put my arms in a hole in it. I need to sit in the like You think you can go try it? Sorry, I don't know why I did that. That's three. So you're supposed to whisk it until it's frothy. So pour it in here. Oh 
pieces to mix them. Okay, so now three tablespoons of water and a cup of sugar. So here I'm like measuring it out just to make sure that I had enough and it ended up to be that I had just enough. So I ended up just throwing the rest of it in there. <laughs> and you know, I was thinking afterwards I should have like put them in half and did some pumpkin spice ones. So once you have everything in a bowl, all you do is mix it all really good. Some of it does kind of clump together because of the water, but you just mix it all really good and then you pour it all into the pecans and you mix those up also. I had to go a little bit slower because I was not using the biggest bowl. Okay, so I have all of that put together, and I don't know, my son has a peanut allergy, so I, I almost don't wanna bake them here. So what I think I'm gonna do is go, my mother-in-law lives close, I'm gonna go bake these over there, and then I will show you once I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact about me, anybody outside of my household does not even know that I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> So, which I get really shy. <laughs> so, so this has kind of been my own little space. <laughs> Super weird, I know. Um, that may have to call come to a halt pretty soon because there's been some fun things that me, and my mother have mother in law have done. Um, you know, like her salsa making, and um, we made tamales. What was it two, three weeks ago? Um, just you know a few things that would be so much fun for her to have here with me um so i may end up telling her here pretty soon <laughs> i just don't know what it's gonna be today um yeah so i'm gonna go bake these really quick and then i'm gonna show you when they're done <laughs> okay so i just got back those definitely take <laughs> took a lot longer than I remember. I don't know why I, I like thought that they took like 15, 20 minutes to bake, but no, because I had so many big um, pans, like the oven took longer. So I think they took like an hour in between all three of the uh, things. My, I came back home and my husband's like, those look like ground beef. <laughs> I'm like, yes, they do. I'm gonna show you how much I got. I'm gonna put some in some mason jars and probably some in like a Ziploc just because my mason jars are smaller, so it's gonna take a whole lot of them to hold it. But yes, they taste super good. My mother-in-law's house smelled like a yummy candle burning because of the smell from them. So I was a little jealous my house didn't smell like that, <laughs> but they taste good. I did leave another like quart size, maybe a little bit bigger, about a quart size amount um, over there. So let's get these put away, but they are so good. I'll make sure I link the recipe in the description box so that you can try them. But yeah, and Michael's Hobby Lobby, basically craft stores, they have those really pretty like clear cellophane bags that you can get. So this is a really good gift to like, you know, just give out, share with some friends. <laughs> what are these? Jars. Do you want to measure this a bit? Trying to have as less stuff touch the nuts as I can. So yummy. Yeah. I have 
Okay, so I ended up doing five jars of these, and then these are still a little bit warm. So I'm gonna let them finish cooling. I'm gonna put the lids on, and then I have a vacuum saver with an attachment to, you know, vacuum these bags, <laughs> or bags, to vacuum seal these. Um, so I'm gonna do that just so that they last a little bit longer. And then this one I put in the bag, so it's ones that I can eat out of, or my kids, they like to have snacks when they come out of their extracurriculars. So just something for me to take along. Not all my kids, because my son, um, he has a peanut allergy and I don't honestly know about the pecans. Um, so this is one of the reasons I bake them next door. So we'll definitely make sure that we, you know, I keep these high up on the shelf. There's a certain area that we have. He knows he's not allowed to get any products out of because of his allergy. Try to be as safe as we can. Um, and also it's a lot of times why I don't have a lot of these nuts and stuff on hand because I don't even like having them in the house. Um, but he knows that when we put stuff in certain areas that he can't have it because of his allergy. And it's also a lot of the reasons that we do a lot of the cooking from just baked goods to, you know, all the things at home. Because everything now is coming with an allergy. There's even, um, what a store is it? Sprouts. Sometimes we drive out to the sprouts that we have and all of their stuff. If it doesn't have a peanut warning, then it has a shellfish warning. Even on... Um, they're like baked goods, but they're gonna, I thought was super strange. I'm like, why would there be a shellfish warning on it? But one of my kids is allergic to shellfish. So I have two kids who can't eat half the stuff from that store. So other than fresh like veggies or fruits, we just don't go there anymore for other things. Um, also, they're adding so many different things to um, stuff these days <laughs> between dyes and just additives and a lot of that kind of stuff. So. Um, we've just, we're moving towards cooking a lot of those things at home. But, yes, so I got that done. I feel like I'm trailing off of, <laughs> of our main goal to this today, but that's okay. I feel like I never really get to chat with you guys too much, because uh, we're always cleaning or organizing or cooking or, you know, all the things. Um, but I'm glad you guys got to kind of hang out with me today. I haven't gotten to set up the arrow garden yet, um, and now it's dark. So I was gonna take you guys out and show you, um, uh, when I did the garden update, I showed you like those tear pots that I have and said I added a bunch of herb seeds. They're all growing. I saw them when I was coming home and I'm like, oh my gosh, like they just popped up. So on the next video, I'll do that. But I'm so glad I got to share this recipe with you. Got to tell you about some like future things that we got going on. Just kind of got to hang out today. So I hope that you made it to the end. <laughs> And thank you so much to all the ladies who were collabing today and sharing some yummy fall recipes that I'm going to be sure that I check out and I hope that you do too. So thank you so much for being here and I will see you. I'm going to try and get that unreleased video edited and released on Sunday. If it's not Sunday, then it'll be Monday. But one of the two days I'm going to release that one just so you can see some of the ways that I worked with all those vegetables and what might be coming up next when I get the next haul of them. So yeah, so I'm gonna let these cool, get them all vacuum sealed, but I will see you guys on the next one.